Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another brand new episode of Minecraft the 1.12.2 pack and as you can see I am kitted out with some shiny enchanted armor and a sombrero. So between episodes, as I said in the last episode, I went mining to get some cool new materials and get ourselves set up in this world. And I've actually come over here to this new village that I found uh, in this uh, savanna biome with these really cool mountains near to where we ended off the last episode and set up shop in this house right here that we were stood on top of because I needed a bit of a home and this one is slightly disconnected from the village and a pretty cool place to live here with my armor friend who can trade me some armor and stuff but anyway between episodes we got all of this stuff um, it's not much it's a fair bit I focus mainly on getting some diamonds redstone gold and iron because I am wanting to build in this episode a quarry that is right and all that needs is a bunch of this stuff which I think we do have the materials to make so that is what we're gonna be setting up in this episode but obviously we need to get power and stuff sorted for our quarry and a small collection system that sort of thing and yeah, I just killed a sheep to get a new hat but yeah in between episodes we went mining in a cave not a cave but I made a staircase by that house down there and I actually did something a little bit cheeky so you may be wondering Toby where did you get some dark boots iron leggings the crystal plate of deflection the crystal pick and the eldritch blade of plundering and of course the iron shovel where did you get all this weirdly named enchanted stuff and I do have to check that out at some point we may go over there in a minute but I actually realized that under this tower here, there's a big dungeon, right? So down the bottom. And it has different types of levels. So it has like cobblestone, stone brick, uh, that sort of thing. And what is that? We're going to have to definitely check that out in a minute as well. But it's got different levels. And right at the very bottom, there seems to be a like nether level, which um, was full of nethery type blocks and uh, very difficult monsters to face uh, all wearing this diamond and iron enchanted armor and whilst I was mining I happened to accidentally break into a room full of chests that had a lot of these mobs in so I sort of set up a pseudo XP farm mob farm gear farm sort of thing where I could only see the mobs feet and I was just swinging and killing and swinging and killing so I got like 20 levels and they dropped a bunch of this stuff until my stone sword broke uh, which was pretty cool and then I managed to basically clear out these guys and then mine over towards the chests and get some more cool loot so I kinda cheated the dungeon a bit but I mean it's my start in the world that's pretty cool but I actually do before we make our quarry go and want to check out this tower that is so cool there are tumbleweeds like I can break it and it gives me wheat also I don't know why I'm getting a bit of frame rate lag but I am and there's a lot of cool hats as we approach this tower but this biome's really cool uh, come here come here this chicken is speedy there we go got the hat uh, but there yeah there are tumbleweeds in this biome which is very cool and is that another owl that is another owl but yeah this biome is well cool I might start I might build like my main base in this biome like a big factory and that could be why it's like a desolate wasteland full of tumbleweeds because I've just ransacked the area that could be a cool idea but there's this ruined tower here and trees me and look at those mountains oh my goodness all right we're definitely going to check that out in a minute as well I love exploring this uh, this mob pack it's really cool yeah, this just seems to be a bit of a tower, which is kind of cool. And I wish this frame rate would stop, but it's just because we're loading in new bits of the world. Uh, once this has been loaded in once, it should clear itself up a bit the next time we come over here. But this is a cool sort of tower thing. It's not got anything of lootable interest in it, but it's a cool ruined structure. But look at these mountains. Look at that is... That is some of the most incredible Minecraft terrain. 
I have ever seen. This mod pack has done something right, I can tell you that, but look at that. This is... Alright, I think I found where I want my base. My main base, yeah? The, these mountains. And what is that right at the top of the mountain? This mountain's going to be hard to scale. We're going to have to invest in some way to get up and down the... But I'm thinking that could be a really cool place for a base, that, that big mountain. Once we get a load of resources. So I'm thinking about maybe... For now, setting up in the villager house over there until we outgrow it. And then coming in, setting up in this area down here, making some farms and stuff. Then eventually living on or in this mountain. But wow, that is... That is cool. That is super cool. So I think this might be that thing we could see from our house. Um, yeah, it looks like it anyway. Right, uh, let's go and ha have a look in it. Hopefully it's not too hard of a... Oh, it sounds... It sounds hard. Ooh. Right, I have not really come prepared. Ow. Okay. I don't think I've come prepared for this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to get out. Yeah, maybe we'll tackle that dungeon in a future episode. But today's episode is mainly about setting up the quarry. So I need to really stop dawdling and exploring. But this world is just super cool that I just want to keep exploring it. But over here I did notice a house. And this is the last thing that we're going to explore before we go and actually work on some stuff and this is a cool looking house made of bricks and stuff and there's an enderman hello uh there let's have a let's have a look inside look seems very homely uh this seems to oh yeah no i've i've seen these houses before they lead down to um another one of those dungeons like under the tower but i like coming in here and seeing what i can find and there's a book about statistics i'm gonna leave those shiny leather pants but So, I'm guessing this is just saying the roguelike dungeons statistics, I guess. There's 76 chests and 87 spawners in this dungeon. That's interesting. Def 87 spawners, definitely above my abilities right now. Uh, maybe once we set up the quarry, things will be different. But let's head back home. So, what we need to do is we need to work out... Um, what we're going to do to power the quarry. But first things first, let's actually make the quarry. So we need some iron, we need some gold, we need some diamonds, we need some redstone. And we need, I believe, a diamond pickaxe? Yeah, we need a diamond pickaxe, so we need to get some sticks. Right, let's let's craft this bad boy up. So we got the diamond pick. Hopefully we've got enough of everything to do this. So we need two diamond gears. Two gold gears and three iron gears can you tell I've qu crafted a quarry before because I definitely have in multiple mod packs I've played and there we go we got a quarry we have got a quarry so we need to power it somehow and we need somewhere to store the stuff so for now I'm just gonna like quarry out here somewhere but we won't place this down quite yet because I'm not sure if we can pick it up again. Uh, but it might be an idea just to quarry one of these mountains and get a ton of resources. But we won't do that yet. We'll just start on a normal basic quarry. But we need some way to power it and we need some cables. So some good cables I like to use are these mechanism universal cables which you need steel and redstone. And steel you may see is quite like you can't mine it, it's an alloy so you need to find out how to make steel and you make it by either smelting steel yeah smelting steel dust by the looks of things so how do you make steel dust you need a metallurgic infuser enriched iron with coal uh, which is coal and iron so that's one way of making it is there an easier way of making steel dust uh, that was a different type of steel dust, so let's go and see the extreme reactor steel dust. There's no way to make it other than grinding steel by the looks of it. And the thermal foundation steel blend, pulverizing steel, crushing steel, or sag milling steel. So it looks like the way we're going to have to make steel is with a metallurgic infuser. 
So a metallurgic infuser is made like so. So you need some iron, some redstone, some osmium, and two furnaces. So you need one osmium, uh, some iron, some redstone, and two furnaces, which is more than easy to make. So let's... How was it? Was it like this? It was. Good memory, Toby. So we got a metallurgic infuser now. And we can't... That's the wrong chest for them. Obviously, we're going to need some power for the metallurgic infuser in order for us to make cables to power stuff. So uh, what I like to use is these wind turbines for mechanism because they're really easy to make. So you just need three osmium, some enriched alloy, which is again the metallurgic infuser. So yeah, we need to actually make another form of power before we make these because you actually need the metallurgic infuser quite a bit to make it. So let's see what we have in the way of like a sterling generator. So we got an Ender IO one, we got a sterling engine from Buildcraft. Um, that one might work. What's the Ender IO one like? So dark bimetal gear, dark steel. Uh, how do you make dark steel? Oh, we need steel. So, and then there's a simple one which I'm assuming does the same thing as a normal one but less power. That needs machine casing, which needs iron grains of infinity. Shall we just shall we just make the build craft one? Cobblestone, glass, stone gear, and a piston. So I was just here getting some sand for us to make our sterling generator, and look, the shovel has auto smelt. So we're just getting instant glass, which is really useful actually. That's super cool. Look at that. Well, if we ever need anything smelted, we we know what to use. There we go, that's our sterling generator built up. And I believe for these you need a lever to power. Let's, have, let's, let's give it a go. Let's put this metallurgic infuser down. That doesn't connect to it, does it? Right, um, what if we put this this way around and connect it into the back? No. Yeah, that doesn't connect. So we're going to have to make a... Huh. Side config. Input energy dark green. So, which side's the dark green? Hmm. Should we just make them all dark green for now? So it should accept energy from any side. Still doesn't like it. Right, we need to figure out what we're doing. So I wonder, will this work? So if we put this lever down and get some coal in the Sterling engine, turn it on. Does this power up with energy? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like this is working. Yeah, it's just storing the jewels instead of passing it through. Huh. So there's something from the mechanism mod called a heat generator which I assuming does the same thing as a sterling generator, but will actually pass energy into the metallurgic infuser. I've just lobbed my pickaxe across the room there. What do we need? We need osmium, wood, a furnace, and some copper. So I think we can do that. Osmium, copper, wood, furnace. Let's see. Yeah, heat generator, nice. So let's whack you under there. Okay, so there's an output for energy there on the front. So if we put you there and you there, I think this should work. So let's put that in there. It's mulch the coal. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's working now. Good. So we got a generator making electricity for the metallurgic infuser. And now in order to make the wind turbine, which is good because they just work around the clock. So we just get constant energy. We need one enriched alloy. Um... Two, three, we need five enriched alloys, so that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this goes very slowly, so let's speed that one up. Okay, so there we go. We've got our five enriched alloy that we needed. 
and we need a basic control circuit which I believe was osmium and redstone yep there we go that is going and what else do we need we need the universal cables to obviously connect that to a quarry that wind turbine so a basic universal cable to steel so we needed a steel dust which was enriched iron so it's just coal and iron so we need two of them so let's get some coal that should be enough and it's dark outside that's why there's these weird noises and there are monsters nearby you're a monster villager let's put you over All right where is this zombie this needs to be sorted out oh there he is that gave me a jump scare on him it should have done because it's just a zombie but hopefully we can sleep now yes there we go whilst the uh metallurgic infuser does its thing there we go right let's put you in there make some enriched iron dust I think we can make the maybe make the uh, wind turbine now wind what do we need oh, we need six gold Ooh, we've only got four really we need two more gold Right, that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue so I guess it's time to get in the mines uh what are you what in the act ender infected zombie it makes enderman noises but okay ah there's an endermite <laughs> and we got a ender fragment and an ender pearl well Interesting. Right, we got a lot of uh, morphs, by the way. So we got a zombie, a couple villagers because they had cool hats, a skeleton, various sheep, a horse, now an endermite and an ender infected zombie, a cow, a chicken, a bat, and me. And unlike other, other versions of the morph mod, this one doesn't seem to allow you to fly as a bat. So we can't get that luxury yet, but we will be working on a jetpack in the next coming episodes, which should be really cool. But is this another fossil? Because if so, that looks like a dragon skull, doesn't it? Look at that. That is that is wicked. Anyway, mining time. So our wind turbine is ready to be made. As you can see, we've got gold smelting. But I've already crafted the energy tablet. So if we go wind, then we should be able to just go like so and get a wind turbine. Lovely stuff. So if we go in here as well, we've got some steel dust. And I'm afraid the gold's going to have to... Hurry, it's time up so we can smelt this up. There we go. So let's craft up our universal cables. We've got eight of them, which is really nice. And now we can set up our quarry, but we do need a chest to go on it. So can we still make like different types of chests in this? Uh, can we make like iron chest armor? Yes, we can. So how much is a diamond chest? It's two diamonds and a gold chest. Do we have? To we do have diamond spare. Uh, but we don't have gold spare. We got silver though, so we can make a... Yes, we can actually. So let's make ourselves a diamond chest. There we go. Our diamond chest has been uh, made up. Thankfully, we got extra glass. So now outside, if we go out the back of the house here so we can get some height. Uh, the wind turbine, since it's high up, should be generating us a lot of power. So let's whack it as high up as we can. So sort of here. How much is this? Yes, look at that. It's generating us a lot of power, which is nice. So now if we place the quarry here, we get a quarry square, which is cool. And then the universal cable between the two. Oh, wait. Diamond chest on the top. Universal cable between the... Universal cable doesn't connect. That's... No, don't break it. Whoa, that was weird. Right. Apparently the universal cable doesn't connect to the quarry. Huh. We're going to have to sort that out. So the quarry here says it requires an energy consumer. What? Well, energy converters mod. So compatible to 99%. Is this what I want? Is this... Is it? <laughs> I can't tell. So... MG energy consumer, that's what we want. So we craft it with a MG energy producer, which we craft like this. So, okay. No, we don't want an MG energy consumer. We want a MG energy producer. 
So hopefully this should be what we need. Okay, so let's try this bad boy out. We've got the energy producer here. Will this work? No. Right, how does this energy converter mod work? Why why is isn't it connecting to universal cables? Okay, so I've done some research and it turns out we actually need three different blocks. So we need to have a RF something like that, I think it is. An RF energy consumer. So it will consume the energy from this wind generator. Pass it into a energy bridge, which I can't seem to see. I think this is it, maybe? Energy consumer. Anyway, there's something called an energy bridge that then will bridge it into the energy producer and I'll put it to the quarry, hopefully. So we need to craft up a couple more blocks. Okay, so we have the two new blocks here. Hopefully, next time lucky, this will work. So, right, what we need is we need bit more space to be fair so we need an energy bridge there and an energy consumer that yes that connects to there and there yes our quarry is working okay that's all it needed just need a couple more blocks so now we are filling this diamond chest up with various different types of seeds and stuff but the quarry is going and that cow is gonna get extremely trapped but yeah, in the future we're going to have to come through and make some changes to this quarry setup. But for now, this is working just fine. So I think to the end of the episode, we will do a bit of a time lapse of watching this quarry do its thing.